is uh, do you remember when there was a period of time where like a lot of hunting shows started showing up on TV? There was like a lot of like uh, like cable TV was taking off, and they're like, we got to have like a bunch of programs. Really. There was there was like some some like late night hunting programs and stuff. No, and because of that, so you just sit around and wait with a guy. Yeah, you just like yeah, you go with a guy to the hunting blind. This guy's hunting deer and guys hunting hogs or whatever. Yeah, and because of that, these shows got people interested in pig hunting, leading to again relocating these pig populations to other states. Like, oh well, we got a bunch of tourists Texas. coming. Yeah, Texas and whatever other thing can we hunt? Man, anything hogs like that TV show I saw. I want to yeah. hunt some hogs. So and now Texas is overrun by overrun wild by millions pigs that they of made wild and in. Uh, hogs that are too smart for traps, and they're just running around going nuts. I like anything bad that happens to Texas. Uh, wow, well, it's it's a total shithole. <laughs> well, and it, all it does these seem like a shithole. Morons uh, are like. <laughs> Trying to gaslight themselves into thinking that Texas is the polar opposite of California somehow. <laughs> when people say, like, Texas is like, oh, it's like, you know, that's where you want to be. They got it all figured out. Uh, I'm no, gonna, they don't. Well, <laughs> here, here's something I it found sucks. interesting is that Texas went, oh, my God, we have a huge wild hog problem. This is out of fucking control. They're everywhere. They're destroying farmland. Yeah. They said, the only thing we could do is we're going to set up. Like huge bounties, you know, kill the X number of wild hogs. We will pay you to kill wild hogs, whatever else. Okay, uh -huh. that'll uh, solve. Oh, oh really? The They're going to pay you to kill. They're so going to pay. I'm going to breed hogs now yes! for money. So they yeah. started breeding more. The population actually went up. Because the guys who were, had the hogs to begin with were like, Obviously. oh, shit, they're paying me to kill these things? Well, I better make a shit ton more. And they're like, oh, fuck, god damn it. Oh, shit. <laughs> we didn't realize the obvious implication of what we were doing. How much of an asshole do you have to be to be like, hey, it's an invasive species that's completely destroying our state? Yeah, but I could make money. What is the... What do you <laughs> If I make more of them, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What do you What do you mean? Why would you not? Oh my god, it's terrible. Who cares? Terrible plan. <laughs> uh, Texas does allow hunters to kill wild hogs year round without any limits, or capture them alive to take to slaughterhouses to be processed and sold to restaurants as exotic meat. So they're not even considered regular meat. Oh, it's exotic god, meat gross. to kill these things. The goal is not eradication, which people do not believe would be possible, but control. Uh, Dick, these things populate like crazy. They start breeding. Why do you know about this? The C wild hogs. How do you not know about this? How do you? Can I? Can we go to YouTube? I guess. What do you need on YouTube? Uh, look up wild hog trap. Okay. These are some of my favorite videos. <laughs> Let me see if I can uh, look for the one that's like a sir. Uh, Forty-eight hogs in the trap. Let's you just watch. Oh no! Wait, shit. watch Boar Buster. Boar Buster. This is the one I want. You watch this yeah, as, yeah, yeah. like, All right, hold for on. entertainment Slow down. purposes. Yeah, 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 because they'll be like, there's some that are like documentaries that goes, all right, well, there's like four in there right now, but we're going to wait two more nights uh, to see if they get comfortable with this thing. Here's the boar buster. Oh, you fucked! And they all run around and ram into the side. Why do you watch this? This Because you want to see how many they can get. They Not got some, really. Some of the traps, they'll get like a hundred fucking wild boars in there. And they so just what? go in there with a shotgun and just fucking blow. Why would that? Why would you like that kind of content? Look, I don't. Why does it appeal to you? It doesn't. I don't know. There's just something. This is like this. The stupid coin slot machines things that you also watch. It also is the coin it's completely off brand. Up. After I cried about killing pigs instead of uh, children or whatever, but I guess I just find it interesting. I mean, not really. This is what I think you would like. Here, go watch another one real quick. It's just interesting to see. Like, this is what they got to do. We're is... not getting sucked into the veto YouTube hour. <laughs> it's just one more. No, one more no, good one. no, no. We Record get it. We get it. It's got 13 million views. I just want to see how many he got. What is your? Because there's all. You know, it's depressing. I don't want to watch this. It's not depressing. It's taking care of an invasive species. You see the video of him like electrifying Asian car. They're like carp? running into the thing to escape getting shot by some uh, Mexican illegal hey, Mexican. Snowflake, welcome to the fucking real world. Okay, there is six yeah, I don't million. Want to watch it. It's six not funny. Million of those fucking things. <laughs> What is this? Who like, cares? Oh my god! It's like I, the, the, the way we think about animals. Is like, uh, who's we? Just like, like, oh, I can't wait to eat a big old steak. Oh, yeah. you know, I want to murder a million fucking cows. And they go, oh, I here. don't want to murder. It's not murder. <laughs> and then I go, here's how they're trapping an invasive species. It's very interesting. What's going on? 
you know, I find it. But you're laughing at it. It's I'm not, you're not saying it's, it's interesting. Like, it's not interesting. It's some redneck. The laughing is that you have never seen this, and I, I think it's you know interesting that you've never seen how crazy the the problem is. The problem is nuts. There's like hundreds of thousands of these fucking things. Millions of these. Millions. Things. Millions of wild hogs that we made for to be funny. We made for fun. Well, we made to hunt them. We said we wanted to. We did it because we wanted to kill them anyway. We just made a and ton now of killing things them. to kill them. <laughs> And now we're killing them, and all of a sudden it's a problem. Uh, they begin breeding at six to eight months of age, have two litters of four to eight piglets. You don't think this is a little much? Like, I'm on the, I like meat. I, yeah. I think that they should be slaughtered humanely, but this you is just crazy. You can't slaughter them humanely. They're too smart. You can't, like, what are you going to do, process them into a little I'm box? just saying it's a little much. I, this, is, this is real life, baby. You got to build a fucking spiral trap. That, it's not real life. It it's we made down. this problem. <laughs> yeah, to, well. To, for novelty purposes. And now we got to get it out. We should watch one of the videos of the helicopter sometime where they just get in the helicopter. No, I don't need to watch a video. I can, I can imagine. You know, I think this might be, I think your YouTube fixation with YouTube videos might tie into your AI, like, uh, fetishization. Yeah. Because I don't, I can, okay, yeah, shooting pigs in a helicopter. Yeah, I got it. I need to watch. It's interesting. It's, inter it's not interesting. It's interesting to learn. It's like you ever watch Dirty Jobs, you know, and you learn what these farmers. Yes, that was interesting. Yeah, well, what are the hardships of being a farmer dealing with an invasive population of like hundreds of fucking hogs destroying your farm? What do you got to do? And you got to set get up a fence. You got to set. No, the fence doesn't work. They'll get under the fence. You got to set up. A, a, it was above them. The traps above them. And you got to <laughs> slam it down. They have remote. It's a remote control. So you sit at home and you. You watch on a webcam. That's what all these farmers are doing. They're watching on a webcam. And once they get like 40 hogs in, they got to make. What is 40 going to do with 6 million Well, they got to make a decision. That's the problem is they go, do I go for the 40 or do I wait? It's and the gambling. Wait, it's the fucking gambling that appeals to you. It it's the fucking gambling. <laughs> do I keep. It's the do I fucking take gambling. the 40 pigs? Or do I try or do to I double risk my it pigs? All and hope I'll get 80 <laughs> next time. Because once you roll out to trap, that trap is like the, the pigs will not you come back go to that trap. That you got to move the trap. You can't use the trap in the same place twice because the, the hogs know about it. Right, right, right. So it's interesting. Yeah, it is like a, it's like a prisoner's dilemma. But you lock it down, and then you might have no hogs. Yeah, it's a game theory. <laughs> uh, anyway, Dick, uh, the best we can do right now to deal with the wild hog population. Again, we can't do any poison. We can't do any like uh, birth. You know so much about this these. Wild Because I do research for my problems, <laughs> unlike you, who comes up with them five seconds before the show. Uh, we can't sterilize them. I come up with this one during the show. We can't, like, DNA alter them to sterilize them because, again, it might fuck up the regular pig population. So all They we said do they're doing that with mosquitoes in California. They've been trying to do that with mosquitoes for a while. They so does it just not work? Because it's not, it's not working. Uh, it worked. What's the deal? It worked. That's how they got rid of, uh, that was one of Bill Gates' big things. Is, yeah, so uh, does it not work like everything else he does? It worked for or a what? period of time. I think, like, I think like it lasted about like eight years before the m mosquitoes mutate again, and then they can... They mutate their dicks? What do you mean they well, mutate? The, I think the big problem in the third world is that they were transmitting, was it West Nile virus? I don't give a shit about the third world. I give a shit about <laughs> mosquitoes in my yard. They were trying to... Yeah, make it so they don't breed and don't populate. But there's always, you know, mutations that find a way. Life finds a way. So you don't know. Just say I, I don't know. know. Don't I make up a I bunch of bullshit about mean? mutating and Why life finds a way. Why don't you bring it in as a problem and have some fucking interesting <laughs> facts instead of dumping on me? What is this show? Why do you have all these I facts? Why do you have all these facts? Because I looked it up because I did research for the show. It just of, seems like a I lot of research. Up, I show up at 4.45, 15 minutes for the show, and you go, what problem should I do? <sighs> Yeah, that's a good know, man. question. Yeah, I got a whole fucking. I went through and I found facts. You're so offended. I'm just asking why you know so much about wild well, then hogs. I try to have a conversation about what I think's going on. Mosquitoes. You don't fucking know. Yeah, but know. you don't know. You don't fucking just yeah, say okay, you, don't well, know. you don't know either. That's I'm why I asked you. I'm part of the show. I'm not talking about like uh, making shit up about they mutated. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried to. <laughs> Hey, Vito, do you, like, do you know anything about mosquitoes? Well, here's what I believe is going on. You don't fucking know. That's fucking like, but dead. You don't, you don't know. fucking know. Yeah, I know I don't exactly know, but that's what I believe happened. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't care. Should have done mosquitoes. Nah. Yeah. All right, well, my problem is then wild hogs. we got two hogs. animal problems. I can't do mosquitoes now. All right. Can't have two animal Can problems. Can you summon the row. fucking, uh, the AT, uh, ET there? Great. Great problem. Great transition. And guys, don't forget YouTube. A lot of videos of wild hogs getting savagely <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> 
Let's watch another one. I know some. Let's watch another one. <laughs> Look, Let's I, watch another one. I mean, I'm one of these guys. I remember one time. I'll say this. I was on a business trip with my boss, and we we're just like hanging out in the he hotel room. Turned out room. to be a pig. No, 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 no. Guys, no. we're like hanging out. He's like, "What should we do?" And I'm like, uh, "I'm like, oh, let's go to that Reddit board that has videos of people getting murdered." And then I put one on, and he went, "What the fuck? I don't want to watch this." And then I went, "That was the moment I went, oh, I'm like, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not good at social." You're like American Psycho, but you don't look anything <laughs> like him. And then he put her head on a pipe. I went, you don't watch videos of Chinese people getting sucked into industrial equipment? He's like, no, no. of course not. I'm like, oh, I thought everybody did this for some reason. Nobody does it. You never watch the videos of like a Chinese guy gets sucked into a lathe? No, I don't want to see that. But then, you like, don't you want to learn lathe safety? You're not learning anything. Of, it's not interesting. You just have a now. I know you if I see a lathe, have a just sick, stay the morbid fuck away fascination from a lathe. With, th with things getting killed. And the more human they are, the better. The more conscious they are, the better. I saw you. a little Chinese lady trying to make a carpet, and the next thing I knew, <laughs> she was the carpet. And that was fucking <laughs> pretty nuts, man. <laughs> and you love it. I, it's you love it for some reason. I don't know, man. I want to see. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying you want to know what's going on. You just want to see people get killed because you're sick. Well, I know, but it's interesting. Can't you read a newspaper? You say, well, I want to, you know, I want to see the people get. You don't watch any of that it's not stuff. Not the same context. No. You don't watch like a video of, like a house on fire or something or a car crash. You watch that. No, I watch like people f hitting their nuts on skateboards and stuff. Why do people go to NASCAR? So that hopefully Camelot crashes that fucking Tim Cass car, that piece of shit. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I know that you're not. No one believes you. Now, if it was uh, Yellow Flash, you'd be like, oh, I hope he wins. I can recognize a good racer when I see one. Like, all I know is me and Camelot, he was mad at me because I said, I don't know. I think that Dr. Disrespect is a bad guy. He, he was like, mad at you? Yeah, I said because he was def he was defending Doctor Disrespect before Doctor Disrespect, of course, admitted to everything. He's like, "Oh, I can't believe they're trying to bury a good man." Blah blah. blah. I'm like, "Dude, I think he did it." I he think he admitted it right away. <laughs> yeah, I'm when like, he didn't say, I'm like, Bro, "No, I wasn't sexting a minor." I tried to say, "He's like, oh, you mean like how everybody calls you a pedophile?" I'm like, "The difference is, if anybody asked me, hey, did you did you sext a minor?" I would say no. Well, no, you would say yes first. <laughs> no, I don't think to I be would. Funny, yeah, you did. <laughs> You no, went I didn't. on like three days of leaning into the joke of saying, "Yeah, I am a pedophile." But nobody's I'm ever accused me of actually. If somebody actually said, "Hey, you did this crime," I would say, "Obviously, I didn't do the fucking whatever crime." You okay? put back the. You put put back a half-eaten red vine. I did put back a half-eaten red vine. <laughs> anyway, I don't want Camelot to crash into a wall. But people do, you're saying. <laughs> some, people some go people to the race. Are. Some people, They're people not go going there to watch the race, the exciting race. They're going to see people, fucking car crashes. I think you guys who think go to that. NASCAR are like, ex if they see a car crash, they're excited. They're like, oh, cool, I got to see a crash. <laughs> I don't think so. I think everybody who went to the race where Dale Earnhardt died, I think for the rest of the time, they go, hey, you remember that guy who crashed the wall and fucking his head severed off his body? I was there. That's their NASCAR story. Their NASCAR story is not the time they saw a car go fast. You're a sick guy, man. No, everybody's a sick guy. I'm just the guy who admits to it, okay? Nobody is watching these Chinese murder videos that you're showing your boss. How many, how many fucking views were on that Wild Hog video? 13 million. Okay, okay so... <laughs> So I'm probably just the same 10,000 freaks yeah, watching it over and over again. I think there's a, look, you, there's a macabre, there's a, you want to, you want to, ogrish.com, you want to see what's going on, right? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Stop saying that. You want to keep your finger it's on sick. the pulse. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.